Thousands of dollars worth of merchandise gone in a matter of seconds. Tonight, the Johns Creek Police Department wants your help tracking down the man who made off with 11 chainsaws from a local hardware store. Now, this happened just before 6 a.m. on November 16th. The store is well known for its community involvement. And as Fox 5's Claire Sims reports, the family who owns that store says it's confident police will find the person responsible. Disappointed and frustrated uh, would be one way to describe it. Richard Lukowiak says the security system at his family owned and operated Ace Hardware in Johns Creek did its job. But the thief who broke into the store November 16th just moved too fast. Surveillance video shows it took less than two minutes for the man to break one of the doors with a sledgehammer, load up his truck with 11 chainsaws and drive off. Uh, once we arrived there, found the front door had been shattered, the glass door had been shattered. Johns Creek Police Captain Chris Byers says the thief had a clear plan. He went straight for the chainsaws, knew exactly what he was what he was after. From helping customers inside to selling Christmas trees outside, the family who owns Johns Creek Ace says they spend 60 plus hours a week here helping customers, and it almost feels like someone broke into their second home. When when I came in early that morning and the glass was broken and things were, were thrown around, violated, um, sad. It's, it, it's, that's the kind of feelings you get. Investigators believe the man stole the chainsaws to sell them, and they hope that could help them track him down. We're hoping maybe somebody will have been offered one of these chainsaws or possibly purchased one of these chainsaws and will recognize him. Police don't have much of a description of the man, but believe his truck is a 2006 GMC Sierra 1500. And the folks at Johns Creek Ace Hardware hope they will be able to catch him before he hurts another small business. They're gonna get caught. They will get caught. They're gonna make a mistake. In Johns Creek, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.